Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with the final part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Outdoors mini-series, I'm going to call it now. Uh, I did release a video about um, the LPs I am ending and finishing, and uh, if you haven't seen it yet, um, you should definitely check it out if you're wondering about where the other LPs are sitting. But this one has come to an end, and I know lots of you guys are going to be super disappointed, and it makes it really hard to finish an LP knowing you guys have really enjoyed it and uh, having to say that I'm ending it. So I am sorry about that, but I will be uploading this house and the characters uh, of the LP onto the gallery straight after this part. So if you would like to continue the series, you are more than welcome to in uh, your own game in your own gameplay. But basically the reason why I'm finishing it is because my heart just isn't in it anymore. I didn't ever feel like playing it. That's why I didn't record for two months, but I didn't want to end it in case I was just going through a stage where I was like, oh, I might just not be into it right now and I might feel like playing it. So I gave it a bit of time and yeah, I think I'm just over it, you guys. Uh, so I am ending this part, but we're going to end on a really good note. We're going to have... Um, Hawk and Clover's wedding and the baby. And I'm actually really excited because Clover is heavily pregnant. So she's going to be a heavily pregnant bride. So let's just get her up. She's huge. She's in her third tri trimester, I would say. <gasps> Whoa, she's only in her second trimester. Oh, I would be so excited she have, if she had twins. Uh, Hawk and her, neither of them have the fertility trait. So that's probably unlikely. Un it's probably unlikely. <laughs> Un unlikely is what I'm trying to say, but you never know. You never know. Uh, okay, so Piper is. What's she doing? Ooh, Keelan. She's making a friend. I'm actually going to get her to. Uh, where's the house? I've lost the house. There we go. I'm actually going to get her to, we did make a little bedroom upstairs, which was starting to look quite cute. Um, we will get her to use the toilet and take a bit of a shower. She'll have to have a bit of fun too. And oh gosh, Clover, <laughs> poor Clover's really struggling. I bet it would be difficult being a pregnant bride, uh, but it could be really, really special as well. I mean, is there any similes out there watching this right now who were a pregnant bride or knew a pregnant bride? I've got to say, a bride with a big belly looks pretty amazing in a wedding dress. Definitely. So let's get these two a little bit loved up. We're going to have to pick her outfit and his outfit. And of course, we're going to make it more of a casual wedding. And I've actually set up over here in the garden uh, this lovely wedding arch that I felt like it fitted pretty well in, in line with the uh, Move Objects cheat just here in their garden. It's just going to be a wedding at home. They don't have heaps of money. Uh, so a nice easy wedding is all they really need, I think. Who's about the outdoors. And uh, ask oh, baby's due date. <laughs> He's very enthusiastic, isn't he? And Clover's like, got so much sass right now. Her face expression just then was like, yeah, cool. I have serious hormone changes going on right now, but she's happy to tell the due date of her baby, which is nice. Okay. Uh, maybe Hawk should have something to eat himself. Let's eat some garden salad, and I think we might uh, get her to clean. No, we'll get Hawk to clean that once he's finished with with it. Okay, use. Might be nice to make a little cake. I wonder if Piper would be up for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, she can't make a birthday cake. I wish kids could. Or a wedding cake. Because that would be so cute if she just made a little simple wedding cake. Be perfect. Uh, have a quick meal. We might just have some yogurt for her. Perfect. And we might get uh, her to change her appearance. Mira, I wonder if she'll be able to do that. Yeah, cool. Sometimes when I use the move objects cheat with that long mirror, 
sometimes the Sims can't actually get to it, but other times they can. So I don't know. I don't know. But what we are going to do is we're going to add a formal wear outfit. Oh, I love this dress on her. Doesn't she look amazing in the electric blue and gold? She is one of my favorite characters. I think this is just stunning. We might go for something similar, actually, but maybe not the electric blue. I mean, we could go with a light green. But these flowers ruin it for me. I wish the hair was parted on the other side. You know what? We're going the green. Let's let's go against the, the norm of what's expected for brides. All right, you guys. Let's plan a wedding event. Okay. What? It's $1,000 to have the wedding? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so aunt someone or other, distant aunt, gave them money to have their wedding. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, she's about to throw up as well. I love it when they throw up. It's like my favorite part of the pregnancy in The Sims 4. <laughs> okay. So Pipe is going to be a guest. Oh, and we have to have one more. Okay. Kelly, you can be the celebrant. And we don't need a caterer. That's fine. We will get a mixologist, please. And we would like one mus musician, please. Oh, we made of money. Okay. Kelly is the celebrant and Pipe is obviously invited too. Then we'll get Myra. Oh, no, we don't need a caterer. Do not need. Damn, damn, damn. No, I don't want a caterer. I have to go backwards and forwards. Ugh. How do you get rid of it? Okay, fine. We'll have a caterer then. <laughs> Mixologist and a musician, please. Thank you. Uh, just at home, please. Don't even need to go anywhere. There we go. Oh, doesn't it look so lush and green? Oops. Oh, we missed a. F oh, oh, gosh. Okay, change outfit into formal one. We're not getting along with that chick. That's okay. <laughs> Change outfit. Formal, formal one. Oh no. Formal two. Oh, it's little Piper. Where are you, girl? Yay! So cute. Okay. And... Oh, she's feeling uncomfortable from surroundings. We'll just serve all the food, fill fountain with chocolate, and hopefully the caterer does make a wedding cake. Ah, excellent. Oh, he's just having a quick nap -a rooney before, before it all gets started. Did you really need to sit down to do that, Hawk? Is it really necessary? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so let's have this wedding. Let's get married to Clover Reed. And we're going to get little Piper to walk down. First. <laughs> Oh. Oh, honey, do you want to go here? Do you want to just go here? Oh, she's like the ring girl. So cute. Oh. Oh, 
Uh oh. I'm ruining the moment. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Get a nicer view. Oh. And that's the celebrant in the purple, purple top. Just a nice wedding at home. Oh. Oh man, these guys are really meant to be together, these sims. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> I love them. Maybe all their wedding food is made from fresh produce. Share the big news. Yes, I really am pregnant in case you didn't notice. And I think we should say something to Piper. Give her a heartfelt compliment and maybe we'll say... There we go, gotta put that on the table. Uh, maybe we'll also invite her to feel the baby. You invite her to fill the baby, do you reckon? Usually you can. Still complaining about that fruitcake they had together. Oh, I think she's happy about her dad's new lady. Let's watch her feel it. Aww. Oh, they look so happy. So cute. So cute. All right, let's have some, f let's cut the cake actually, you guys. Have some food. Thank you, Amy Land. You've been great on the piano. And this chick just, this celebrant is rude. Oh! <laughs> What a cool caterer. Oh my gosh. Oh, is, are they going, is he gonna feed her the cake? <laughs> Very cute, they're a little bit tired, but I still think that they should probably have something to eat. It's a shame they can't slow dance with the piano music. Oh, he's got a wedding and all he gets is a garden salad. <laughs> Let's grab some of those nachos, maybe a bit of turkey and, uh... oh, I like how, oh, I thought she had picked that strawberry from the garden. You know what? That's probably what they would have done. They would be like, help yourself to our garden of fresh strawberries and dip them in the chocolate fountain. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, lady, you're taking Piper's seat, so now she has to stand. Ugh, Kelly. Do you mind playing something a little more romantic? Loving this little dress for kids. How good are the graphics? Like the, the texture of those shiny, shiny sequins. They look so good. Lovely setting for a wedding. I think I'll have to make a garden wedding venue. Oh, lovers. Lovers, lovers, lovers. Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's definitely Piper's bedtime. So I'm going to get her to go to bed. And she will need to have some playtime as well tomorrow because she's. She just should. And that just spent like half our money. <laughs> Well, that's okay because we can harvest a lot of our stuff tomorrow, which is good. Or at least before I upload them, I'll harvest so they can have some money. Or maybe I'll leave that in the game for you guys actually to have fun harvesting if you want to do that. And uh, let's just have one more passionate kiss, I think. And uh, just before they go to sleep. Can we do like a bit of a passionate? I want the real deal, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's a person here though. 
Ooh, that looks yummy. Eggs and toast. She's already prepared their honeymoon breakfast, or their at-home honeymoon breakfast. And they're like, okay, time to leave. Ah, oh, she's... Well, it was your fault, lady, for staying so long. I just fixed this, didn't I? Oh my gosh. Oh, Well, you guys, I'm going to resume this in the morning when they've woken up. Alrighty, so they did have quite a big sleep in and Hawk is just doing a bit of gardening. We're just waiting for that baby to come and... Uh... Oh, would like to come over to hang out? Sure. Alright, we're going to make a lot of money from harvesting all of this. That's the thing. Once you have your garden up and growing, uh, then it like making money becomes a lot easier if you have enough sims to maintain it. I feel like it's really hard to maintain your garden if you don't have enough sims, which is what we really had a lot of difficulty with in the first part of this challenge. So we've got 170, almost 200. Oof, those sold for a lot. That's good. Make us rich. See? And we've got a pretty small garden, so... Oh no. Oh honey, did you just do that? Oh, oh dear. At least you're fertilizing the garden, so it's all fine. It hasn't gone all to waste. Ah, uh, there we go. So... They now have $5,000, so they're not doing badly at all. They'll be able to make a little bit of room for the new Barbie. It's very exciting. Gosh, pregnancy really tires Clover out. I feel like she's always tired. We have so many guests today. We're so popular. I guess it's everyone coming in to congratulate them on their wedding, which is really nice. Oh, I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye. Thanks for hanging, Soya. Uh, we can actually repair this now, which is, or replace it, rather. Gosh, her belly is huge. <laughs> oh, it would be so annoying living in an open plan house when you have friends over. Oh, oh, who is this? Hi, is this the one we don't like? Okay. New friend. Oh, also, we got these from having a silver medal wedding uh, during the night. So I just put these on the bench. This is actually the plant on a pillar, but using the move objects on sheet, I've just kind of placed it there. I thought that looked really pretty after their wedding. Oh my god, we have a friend to play with. How awesome is that? Love it. Okay. You guys happy now? Now we can play. Excellent. And through about candy, bright and day, get to know. And uh, Hawks over here entertaining with his his friends. Chat about property values. Maybe he's thinking about upgrading their property. And uh, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And I reckon Clover's just about ready to pop. Is your fun going up? I don't think it is. You know what we can do for Piper though is we can probably buy her some monkey bars. Which she'd enjoy, wouldn't she? Let's see, let's pop them. Oh, oh dear. I don't know why I've got that cheat up. Let's go here. Monkey bars. I'm glad that's not just an Australian term because I would have no idea what to call these. Just put them on a nice angle like that, and I feel like... What color do we want? Maybe blue, just for funsies. And uh, we can go play on this. Clover's like, hmm, what should I do with this pot plant? Water it. Yay! Oh, Piper's so, so much more happy now. Excellent. What? Did you just see how hunger just went? No, 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 no. I guess when you're eating for two, this is what happens, doesn't it? Make some breakfast. Let's see. Yeah, you should really get going, man. 
Okay, serve dinner. Let's say she's going to make a green salad from all of their delicious greens that they have in the garden. Oh no! Put that in there. Oops. Okay, you're just making it on the sink. That's cool, that's fine. Put the school book there. This is a case of when your guest doesn't want to leave and you awkwardly didn't want to have them over for dinner, but you have no choice now. <laughs> so you make dinner really late because they haven't got the memo to please leave. Let's get some lighting in here. Uh, I reckon they would probably go with something like this. Yeah, now we can afford some lighting in the house. Moving on up in the world. So exciting and maybe in here we can get some lighting as well. Just bit by bit. And Piper gets to be a big sister, which is so exciting. Okay, I guess the crib's going to go in here. Why don't we just search kids if it'll come up? Kind of. Maybe Piper would like to, how much is this? 300 for art stuff. Wow, I think she'll have more fun, something like this. Loves purple, so we'll give her a purple one. And maybe we can give her a special gift from her new, either little sister or brother. We don't know what it's going to be yet, so we can pop that in there. Piper really needs some attention because she hasn't had many toys at all for a long time. What's this? Hmm. It's kind of fun. It's not as expensive either. Where are those kitty chairs? Yes, there we go. Okay, she's got a few things and maybe we can get a couple of things on the walls too. That would be nice. Uh, go up. Yeah. I'll give her a purple one. Beautiful. Lovely. Lots of new things for them to enjoy. Oh, and maybe we should get a normal shower for inside. <laughs> that could be nice. So they don't have to shower outside if they don't want to. Let's get a nice standard one. And they probably could do an extension, but I'm going to leave some money there for now. I'll leave the extensions up to you guys. Right, let's fast forward her cooking. Oh, gosh, she's making a mess. Oh, thank goodness. So you leave just as we're about to prepare you dinner. Okay, no worries. Piper, do you want to maybe... You know, she probably wouldn't mop it. She'd probably play in it. What kid mops up water? Did she make that food for everyone? Good. I don't know what's going on here. All there. He's also needing to go to the toilet a lot as well. <laughs> oh, Piper. <laughs> Love it. Do you wanna go to the toilet, mister? She can grab something to eat as well. You don't want to go to the toilet? What do you mean? Who's in there? Who's... Oh, right. Well, in that case, there you go. And we might get you to mop that up too. And do a little bit of a clean up. Quite cute with all the kids around. I'll oh, see you later, dude. Thanks for coming over. So nice to have a friend. Well, semi-friends. We're still acquaintances, but that's okay. It'd be good if in The Sims, uh, si like, your children... Oh, she didn't pee herself again, did she? Oh, my gosh. Clover. <laughs> oh, Hawk, that was your fault. She's just peeing a lot because, oh, he's such a nice hubby. He's cleaning up for her. Oh, she's so embarrassed. <laughs> because like, 
pregnant women need to go to the toilets a lot. It's, it's, it's normal. Oh. Pre-parents will panic? Oh my gosh, he's freaking out. It's like, I'm gonna have a baby soon. Okay, now I can go to sleep. <laughs> you just had to let that out, didn't he? Oh gosh. Oh, since there's a baby on the way, Sim Social Services has provided a complimentary bassinet for the little one. Where is it there? Oh, she's having a baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a beautiful moment. Uh, okay, how about we, I think she's gonna have the baby here. Oh, that was quick. Oh my God, it's a girl. Birth, life, the universe and everything await. It'll be a long road kid. Clover just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. Well, one name that I loved that a lot of you similes uh, suggested and liked is Willow. Willow Reed, which I thought was pretty perfect. Oh, yay. Oh, there she is. That's a little... The little wondrous baby. What a gorgeous girl. Let's have a look at her. Aww. Very cute. I wonder what she'll turn out to look like. I like her little butterfly on her belly. Well, not really on her belly, but on her chest area. It's so cute. Uh, and excuse me, but we're going to have to cuddle the baby and take a picture. I think we should wake up little Piper, even though it's quite early in the morning. Aww. Mm. Clover. Best mom ever. Maybe we'll bounce the baby. Little Piper can, after she comes out of the toilet, meet her little sister or stepsister. Aww. Love this little elephant thing on the bassinet too. That's a bit cute. <laughs> Aww. Very cute. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you enjoyed this LP. I'll try and put some screenshots at the end so we can kind of reflect on this little mini series. Well, it wasn't really meant to be a mini series, but it kind of ended up being that way. And I would love it if you guys decide to continue the story of Clover, Hawk, and Piper and little baby Willow. I would love to see your screenshots tweeted or anything really, or what you decide to do in their story in The Sims. That would be great. But anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.